Now, independent investigative contributor Cheryl Atkinson looks at the facts and figures left behind in Washington. A system that a decade ago handled just 6,000 illegal immigrant minors a year has been flooded with more than 57,000 since last October, most from Central America. President Obama wants $3.7 billion in emergency funds for the final two months of this fiscal year. $1.8 billion of that to feed and house the minors, $1.2 billion for processing. Mark Rosenblum is with the nonpartisan think tank Migration Policy Institute. Quite literally, where does the money come from? We don't have extra money in the Treasury. You know, Congress can spend money that it doesn't have. You know, that's, I mean, we, we, run, a, we run a deficit in, you know, many recent years. But Congress isn't even close to agreeing on how much extra money to provide. The president won't use what he has now to enforce the law. And so we want to give him more to what? Not enforce the law more? Republican Congressman Randy Weber, seen here on the border in his home state of Texas, says money should first come from the countries whose citizens are fleeing in droves. We're going to stop your foreign aid, and you're going to pay for that until you start helping us stem the tide. Is your remedy no extra money? The president has got the wherewithal, the authority, and has had the money to, to secure the border from day one. He refuses to do so. The Democrat-led Senate proposed $2.7 billion to cover the last two months of this fiscal year. The Republican-led House, $694 million. Democrats would give Health and Human Services $1.2 billion more for housing and humanitarian assistance. Republicans, $197 million. Homeland Security would get an extra $1.1 billion. Republicans, $405 million. But the whole issue is so contentious, neither side could agree before leaving for a five-week summer vacation. Meantime, the problems and the expenses continue to build. Rosenblum says they're manageable. The United States, in terms of our population and in terms of our GDP, we can handle um, taking care of these 50,000 kids if, if, you know, if that's what our hearts tell us to do. You grow a government bureaucracy and you've got a larger criminal justice system, more uh, immigration lawyers, more immigration judges, more immigration courthouses, and a bigger system. Is it ever going to shrink back? There's the 60 question. The White House already announced $380 million in June for programs to help Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador, where most of the miners are said to be fleeing poverty and violence. Investigating Washington, I'm Cheryl Ackeson reporting.